Hello, 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 everybody. This is Elissa from Mink Arts and Crafts, and today I have another small shop haul with a little bit of a twist for you guys. So, uh, this one, I have a unboxing from Bella Art Day Nicole, a, another one from DP with sparklers, because of course I like my small sparklers, and I had to make a little bit of an order. Well, I didn't have to, but I wanted to, so I did. And then um, I had to order the my, my first squish fills, squish mallows. So we will be looking at those. And then I have a special unboxing for you guys at the end, which was something super interesting. Well, well, some people will find it interesting. And I was like debating making a special video just for it, but I'm like, ah, we'll attach it to the end of this one. So stay tuned for the end of this video. Well, for the fourth item, Z, item, items, whatever, however you want to look at that, at the end of this one for something super interesting and special. We will see. I, I, I don't know how to tease it, but I'm not going to advertise it, not even in the heading of this. So you'll have to stay tuned to see. But we will break into my Bella Arde Nicole items. All right. So, um, as you guys have been seeing, I have had a slew of pens. I'm going to just take all of these items out of the box and put the box on the floor. So that way the box isn't hogging and bulking things up. And then we can kind of go from there. You guys get to see some pretty colors. This is the part that always takes the longest because I'm like, I don't want to completely unbox everything. Uh, like I cut the boxes open, but I don't want to completely unbox everything because then you guys don't get to like See my reaction to seeing everything for the first time if I've like already opened the box All the way and like looked at the items inside the box. So I Cut the box open so you don't see me struggle with the box, but this is my first time ooh, Opening the box in general. Ooh, this is gorgeous. So look at this I like how that turned out so with all of my new pens that I've been getting lately, I realized I'm like, I need another pen holder because I don't have my other pen holder that I got from Bella Art Day Nicole, uh, which I got with my channel name, Mink Arts and Crafts across the front. Uh, I ran out of room for pens on it because it holds 10 pens. So I decided to get another one and I decided to go with the rainbow filament because uh, I was like, I want to see how it turns out with the rainbow filament. And I like, I'm like, that's actually turned out beautifully. I'm pleased with that. Uh, I'm not normally one for a lot of like the orangey yellow colors, but that actually turned out beautifully. So that is the first item. Ooh. So when I did my last uh, unboxing way back when that had the initial one of these trays, my mom was like, I kept waiting for you to put the pen on the pen holder and I never did and it drove her bonkers that I never did. So anyways, I never did that and it drove my mom bonkers, but I just couldn't, I just didn't. So that was hilarious. So that was item number one and then we'll come over here and I ordered the, um, and I'll have the shop linked down below. I don't link the individual items. I know they just recently went through and removed a lot of colors, uh, older colors of items. So some of the colors may not be, that I have may not be available. You'll have to check on the shop. And this is like their, I think they call this the bento box, but I thought, that, which it does look like a little bento box. But I thought that would be great to hold some of like the smaller trinkety type stuff. But also it has the inside space to hold things as well. So look at that. And I love this. This is like one of my favorite colors is this aqua e tealish color. I'm really bad with like knowing what colors are. Uh, so look at that right there. Oh, there's just that little. And oh, there we go. Look at that, super cute. So I will put some of my like small pieces, parts of things. I may put like all of the extra, organize some of like the extra multi-placer and like tips and things like that. Uh, things that I have in some of my drawers that are just kind of lying loose. I may put those in here. So there is that. And then I hadn't ordered any trays in a while and I they had some new colors that had recently come out. 
uh, a few weeks back that were absolutely gorgeous and I loved those colors. So I was like, um, uh, yes, please. So I ordered some of the trays in those colors. So I got this beautiful, um, and don't ask me what colors I ordered because I don't remember. Uh, and they typically don't send a packing slip, so I'd have to go look on on my order history, which is on my phone, which I am filming with. So at, yeah, you're out of luck. But look at this beautiful, beautiful color. Like it's kind of like the cookies and cream one, but in this like minty green. Uh, and this is my favorite size, this tiny or the small size. This is what I use probably 90% of the time. Only if I have a large swath of color blocking do I use the larger tray. And then I got this like translucent one. So you can actually see, like you can see my fingers through there. So it's kind of like this translucent, but in this beautiful pinkish fuchsia color. Uh, so there is that one. And then, so this is like, I have a lot of, of well, I don't have any trays in this color or in this color that I'm prior to ordering these in these colors. So I don't have a lot of trays to begin with. Like some people will have tons and tons and tons of trays, but I don't have tons and tons of trays. Look at this one. This one is not a translucent one. It is just like that silky, beautiful, silky, like fuchsia pink color. Look at that beautiful pink. Uh, and then these were some of the sets. So I got, they were like, um, some of the different ones there was like the mat and I love these are my favorite trays I have one of the the tray towers <clears throat> that fits this size tray this to me hits all the wickets as far as a tray is concerned that like does everything I want a tray to do love 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 these trays so I got this beautiful kind of like mat not quite the same like very much similar but not quite the same shade as that one and then this was like they had one that was like a unicorn and one that was like a mermaid but kind of like a like that look at that kind of like color changey with the different tones to it and then the other one I did order I was like I really really liked this color pattern so I ordered this one in the set which is where you get two trays two smalls and a large so I did order this one in the set so you get their sticker that they send um, and you can see here Boop, look at the inside look at that that'll be perfect for some of those darker drills look at that I like that tone that you see there oh look at the bottom wow I love that Ooh, it gets better and better so this one was just by looking at the photos of it the this set of trays was my favorite like look at the beautiful like light green I don't want to see what color is that oh beautiful but like this one was my favorite and I loved that like color combination that you see there where you've got this bright greenish yellow, you have this bluish tone and the even paler, like I love that color combination. So this one I did order uh, the set, which is where you get, like I said, you get the two smalls and the large tray. Uh, so like I said, these are great when you wanna do a larger swath of color blocking. So those were the trays that I ordered from Bella Art Dana Cole. Now I'm going to be good on trays and I won't need to order, <coughs> pardon me, trays for a good long while. Uh, I don't drop by trays uh, like this from them for very often. There has to be like, uh, I usually wait until they've come out with a number of colors that I like. Um, but I think this is only my second uh, time ordering trays maybe the third I think I did an initial order where I got like at the very beginning where I got like one set of tr like this of trays and that was like my first order and then I did another order where I got like two sets of trays and then this is my third order but that was Bella Arde Nicole now we're gonna roll into my DP with sparklers order boop, 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 boop. and we will open this up I'm really bad with opening up bows. I usually end up tying things in knots like I just did right there. And I don't wanna just cut it because I reuse these little organza bags in like organizing drills that I'm gonna use for kitting up stuff. 
Ooh, yeah, those are gorgeous. These right there. Ha ha ha. Oh, I was super excited to get those. And there it's the goodies. The orchid's a bag. My packing slip. So there is the card, DP with sparklers. Here's the sticker. Here's your branded washi tape that you get from them, which every time I get, I get in a different color. A little thank you wax. And a sucker this time too, look at that. A nice large uh, organza bag, which will be great for organizing some drills. So these are the uh, set that I do not have, and I thought they were absolutely gorgeous. They're the metallic. Uh, for rounds and they're an element set so you can see here you've got this beautiful magenta and then you've got the spearmint color and then you've got some ABs some crystal pearl ABs uh, a metallic bronze this party pink and then this gray and then a crystal AB in here so some like I love these packs that they put together where they include not just like the um, a set of specific colors of like the metallics, but then you'll also get like a crystal, a pearl, but like some variety of things that go together. So you'll also get all of the things basically. But there are the ABs or like the special drills there. And then I also got this special pack of bubbles. These are big bubbles for squares. So essentially four of these will fit on, these are only for square drills um, or for square canvases, but four of these will fit on one square. So like kind of how the pearls that you saw in my last video can be used on round canvases. These are bubbles, but they're for square canvases. So you see here, here's a Luna, so they're five millimeters, whereas the, bubble, the pearls that I have are six millimeter ones, which are made for uh, the round canvases, these are made for a square canvas. So they're a little bit smaller because of the smaller size of square drills. So you see here, there's Luna, and then you've got this prismatic color. Ooh, look at that. And the bubbles have a totally different effect. So it kind of gives it like this three-dimensional. So you've got some river, splash, I almost, yeah, there's a splash. I almost said plasma. Ooh, Oasis is gorgeous. I love that color. Starfish, these would be great accents. Flamingo, oh, love that. Uh, I mean, flamingo, love it. Axolotl, look at the axolotls. And uh, Terra, they're like an earthy kind of orangish red. So beautiful, beautiful color for those ones. And I like that they come in the little baggie for that. And then the last two uh, items that I purchased were um, the slightly larger version of that little uh, adorable turtle cover minder that you guys will have seen in the previous video. Well, guess what, y'all? I just said y'all. My parents lived in Kentucky for a hot minute for like nine, 10 years. So a little bit of them living in Kentucky has worn off on me. And I just said, y'all, look at this little turtle. And he does have little articulated feeties. I'm not gonna like do much articulating of the feeties because I don't wanna worry about like breaking him, but look at him. And I did have him put like magnets on him because you could order these with or without magnets. But I'm like, I'm gonna go ahead and do with magnet just in case I want to have him maybe a cover minder or just take it off and have him stick like this with his little magnet on because then I can have him magneted to something because look at how adorable he is so the cutest little turtle so now I have a small a medium and I love that gorgeous shim shim shimmery blue green color um and even better than that well, not even better, but to go along with it, I have an entire turtle family going. Now we just need pink flamingos. 
No, somebody needs to create some pink flamingo um, I, like cover minders. So if anybody has uh, like a bead on pink flamingo cover minders, hook me up because I need them. And the large size of the cuteness that is this turtle in his size and like now that he's larger you can see that his little feeties and his little head articulates better like look at that the head nod and then these little feet so he could actually like sit if i wanted look at him he's so cute but then he's still got the magnet on so he can do boop so cute love it and look at him he's like blue but he's green but he's shimmery whitish green so now I've got large, medium, and then over on my cover minder wall, I've got small. So cuteness. Anyways, I am obsessed with my little turtle guys. So I have the whole turtle family. And then the third item that we're gonna unbox here right now. Bum, bum, bum. All right, y'all. So. Let's see about this. So how many of y'all have uh, Squishmallows? Because Squishmallows, Squishmallows, I do not, but they are the cutest thing ever. And I was like, I want to see, and they're just so cute. Uh, take them out of the box, throw the box on my floor. So there are, how are they? Are they all like hooked in here? Okay. All right, so how many of you guys, like, I didn't even know these were a thing for the longest time, and I think it's because I don't go to stores. I am I avoid stores at all costs. I'm the person that will, like, literally, uh, given the choice, I will order toilet paper and paper towel and, like, literally everything under the sun off of Amazon as opposed to actually going to a store. Like, that's just me and my personality and, like, my avoidance of public spaces and stores and everything else. Uh, but... Uh, like so I didn't even know these were a thing but I saw these on Amazon and uh, people have been talking like I've been seeing some people kind of like showcase them on their uh YouTubes and whatnot like I know Tima has got all of the Squishmallows possible and I was like and I love these rainbow colors and they're the cutest things and I love the like rainbow kitty type ones so I got like some Squishvilles on uh there. So look at the cuteness of these. And I guess they, I don't know if they have like specific names or not, but I love these. So there's this little one here. And then we roll into, and I guess they come in like a mystery kit. Like this one is like a little kitty unicorn in these rainbow colors. Super cute. I'll probably cut the tags off because I'm not a tag person. Uh, I'm like, is this supposed to be, I think this one's supposed to be like a little dragony type thing. Uh, I don't know, but like a, like a pig dragon, I don't know, but it's rainbow colors. Here is a total little like unicorn-y type one, but again, it's got like that pig nose, but super cute. And then there were two mystery ones that you won't know until you open. There's this one, which is like a little rainbow teddy bear, adorable. And then the last one look at that he's like a little llama and y'all know that i love my llamas so i thought these were just beyond cute mochi will probably want to play with them so she she will probably be like hey those are mine which i'll let her play with them if she wants to so i had to pick those up those were super cute and they're small enough that they can sit on like a shelf and be out of the way and not take up a lot of space so these were the primary items that I ordered. And now I am going to clear this stuff out of the way because I need the space for the final items that I'm going to open from the final box because it's a big box, you guys, it's a big box, but it's a fun box. So we're gonna go to that box once I move these items out of the way. You like this bracelet? This was a custom that I had Bev B, Bev from Bev B on make for me. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the lotus, because I love me, my Asian influence of things. Boop. So if you hear that little jingle, 
Uh, so we're gonna open that last box. All right, you guys, you like my massive box here? So the box looks huge because yes, it is massive, but it also looks really large because it is, uh, you know, really tall, so it's really close to the uh, camera right there. But anyways, uh, so if anyone ever purchases or shops using the shop app, uh, you, if you've ever noticed, you can earn shop cash when you shop through the shop app or you pay through the shop app. Because uh, I don't shop through the shop app, I just pay through the shop app. And you can use your normal uh, payment option or payment choice, payment plan or payment payment source of, payment source of choice, whatever that may be. Um, you just pay on websites with your payment choice with the shop app as your payment source. So uh, I would, instead of using, like inputting all of your, um, like instead of inputting your debit card details every time you go to a website, you just basically sign into the shop pay app and you pay with the shop pay app and then it automatically inputs like Basically, it does all of the details for you, and you don't have to go inputting all of your details every single time, but you're still paying with your own card every time, essentially, is what it is. And by doing that, you then earn, uh, like, shop cash, essentially, is what it breaks down to. And uh, when you want to go to redeem said shop cash, I just recently found out that um, there are certain times when you want to go to redeem it, they'll, they'll say, oh, yeah, your shop cash is worth like three times the amount for this particular store, this particular shop, but you have to redeem that through the shop app. Uh, and I decided to redeem it at what is called Voxu Market, which is an Asian, um, like an Asian grocery store or an Asian market. So one thing that I definitely miss, especially uh, being out here in the desert where I don't have a lot of choices, is being able to have uh, options with Asian markets and or, or any kind of anything <laughs> good food wise really when it comes down to it um, but my options out here are very limited uh, and especially when you consider that like I really love my Asian food uh, from having lived in Japan having lived in Okinawa for a couple of years I have like my favorite go-to snacks and my favorite goodies so I redeemed my shop cash at Boxu Market for goodies uh, out here in the desert like I we we have two you have two options when it comes to uh, I think we, we actually have three options when it comes to actual decent Asian food we have a Vietnamese restaurant which technically isn't a Vietnamese restaurant it's a donut shop called the jelly donut that is owned by a Vietnamese family that happens to sell pho and other random eclectic things that you're like this this is odd you wouldn't normally see it at a Vietnamese restaurant uh, but it's the it's a donut shop owned by a Vietnamese family that happens to sell Vietnamese food at the donut store so you go to the jelly donut that's the name of the store to purchase your pho so when I want pho I order it from the jelly donut which I can also order a dozen donuts at the same time yeah it's odd <laughs> it's very odd uh, that we also have one uh, restaurant that does actual decent sushi like well we actually only have one actual sushi restaurant uh, and you know you have your typical run-of-the-mill like Chinese restaurants but and then I think we have a Thai restaurant as well uh, but we don't have the choices and the options that I'm used to so when I found this as an option to get myself some snacks and some goodies I like jumped on the chance so I redeemed my shop cash with like three times the value for the points. So I have like buku items of goodies in here. Uh, so I'm gonna move this box off to the bottom or off to the chair and I will then start breaking out the goods so you guys can see the awesomeness that is the goods that I can get from Boxu Market. So here we go. Right. So first off, here's a thank you. And they gave me a $10 off my next order from Boxu Grocery. Uh, and here is their story, uh, which talks a little bit about them and their story. You, <laughs> Mochi's going for my box. She wants in my box of goodies. You can't go in that box yet. She's she's not going to care. She's going to jump in the box. Uh, and basically, I found their story. 
uh, from the founder. So, and here it says, thank you for supporting Asian businesses. So I was super excited uh, to find that they were selling here. And I kind of like, like I said, I went a little crazy uh, with some of the goodies that I got. So here are some, and like what I love is in Japan, you could get all of like companies that we have here, like Lay's potato chips, but in amazing flavors. Like here's ribeye steak. So I'm just gonna start laying some of these things out. Uh, and some of them, I don't remember the flavor that I ordered and it won't necessarily say it in English. Uh, so here was an, another flavor that I uh, ordered, which was like a uh, cheesy something or other potato chip. Uh, here was another one that was a steak flavored, uh, like a flame mignon. Can you move little cat? Come on. Thank you. Another type of potato chip that was like a steak flavored. Here are some peach cream frappe uh, candies. So I got, like I said, I got lots of goodies and it's all just kind of stacked in here. Uh, and here is some like good uh, types of uh, snacks. So this is black soybean sauce to pokey, so rice cake. Uh, and you can see this is what it looks like right here. So these are a lot of like the snacks and the goodies that I've uh, eaten in different countries that I've been in. So whether it is like this one would be Japan. So you can, this would be different ones that I've eaten over the years that I wanted to kind of, um, well, oh, I've been there. Uh, if you've never had ginger hard candies, these are amazing. These are a Korean goodie, but these are amazing. So a lot of the things that I could get in um, Oki were sold in other countries. So here are, I believe these were mango or mango or persimmons. I can't remember which. Uh, I'd have to look back on the site to see whether they look like, I don't know, they kind of look like the persimmons, but they may be the mangoes. I can't remember what I ordered because I just was going through. I was hungry when I ordered, so I kind of ordered all the things. Uh, here's some uh, Korean ones, some kimchi ramen noodles. These are like the good style of ramen noodles. And then some actual good miso ramen so much better than the ramen that you buy in the regular store. I like these style ramens. Uh, here's some taro bubble tea oatmeal. Like if you've never had like taro flavored stuff, this stuff is good. Uh, and it's made for, made with like black tea, taro, chio, chia, and blueberry. So I thought that sounded delicious. Here is another one of the uh, kimchi topoki, so rice cake but a different flavor. Uh, so this one's a kimchi and this is a black soybean sauce. Uh, of course, you can't not get mochi. So these are lychee flavored ones. Uh, so these are rice cakes, lychee flavored rice cakes, kabota, lychee daifuku. So basically those are kind of like mochis. Uh, hence, you know, how mochi got her name of mochi because of rice cakes. And uh, the tape is attacking me. Like I said, all the snacks. And I got a couple other things. And they do sell like all the condiments and everything else. I didn't buy the condi condiments, but now I have like a go-to when I wanna, the, the rare occasion that I wanna cook something and I can't get the sauce that I want. So if you've never had these, these are the ones that have like the little bubble thingy that you pop down and it pops the little glass, the little like marble type thing into the drink. So it's the Ramuna. Uh, so this is a strawberry flavored, like carbonated soft drink. So they're always interesting. Like they, they like their interesting things. Um, and then of course, this is one of my absolute favorites that I would get in Japan all the time is this white peach Calpico. Like I love, love, love these. I have not had these in forever. Um, they're very hard to find. Once in, when I lived in San Diego, uh, I could actually find these uh, on occasion in the commissary in San Diego once in a while. And then of course I got another one of these. This is a sweet and spicy topoki rice cake type one of these. So got that one. So I like that one so much I had to get two of these.
And then of course, I love my my um, mochi, so I also got yuzu flavored. So yuzu is kind of like this really interesting, it's not a lemon, it's not a lime, it's like this tart little interesting type thing. You have to, it's, it's a unique kind of flavor to it, but yuzu, is, and it's really, really common in Okinawa. It would be very common to get yuzu flavored. Uh, items, it's a, it's very hard to describe because it's lemon, but not lemon, lime, but not lime. It is kind of looks like a lemon, but it's not quite a lemon and it's yuzu. It's a small little, like you can see it's shown right there, but yuzu is a unique flavor, deliciousness. So lychee, yuzu, and then of course I had to get strawberry. So those are the mochis that I grabbed. And then I got a big bag of the Myeongyang rice noodles, so beef flavored. Uh, so, got a big bag of the rice noodles there. Like I said, I got a lot of stuff, all the goodies. And then some yakisoba uh, with soy sauce and black pepper and garlic, so good yakisoba uh, noodles. So these are like, I haven't had ramen in forever because I, again, I've been spoiled by ramen. And then, <laughs> You, you, you'll see a trend here for the last items. Um, I love my haichus. So in Japan, you you have haichus, which are the candies, and they're these amazing little chewy candies. And then you also have chew highs. So chew chew highs are basically the equivalent of like a, a hard seltzer here in the states. They're very similar to that. They were just like before hard seltzers really became. Uh, and like everybody started drinking like the all the different types of seltzers we have now uh, and like the hard ones the hard seltzers that you have now like all the million and five different flavors that you now find out there in the states at the moment like chew highs have been a thing in Japan for like ages and ages and ages uh, well not ages but at least when I was stationed in Japan and lived there in Okinawa in 2014 that was like a super common drink uh, so it was always like, is it a high chew or a chew high? But high chews are the candy, chew high is the alcoholic beverage. And you can, I love my high chews. So I stocked up on high chews because I love them. So I got an infusion flavor. I got fantasy flavor. These are a slightly different but similar type of version. So this is uh, Puchow slightly. It's like a similar but kind of like an off-brand version. I got fruity flavors. So kind of like tropical ones. I got another one of the fantasy flavors because those ones look delicious. This is kind of like the normal flavors. Oh, well, no, this is a super fruit mix. Um, yeah, that was the super fruit mix. And I thought I only got two of the fantasy. Apparently I got an extra fantasy. I got the yogurt mix, which is a good mix. I, that one is one I like. Uh, yeah, I literally, I thought I only got two of the fantasies, but apparently I, they put in four of the fantasies. Okay. Uh, a sweet and sour mix. And then the last thing you'll see in here, because uh, you can't not have Japanese goodies without matcha flavored Kit Kats. That's like, oh, the only other flavor besides matcha that is beyond amazing that, or well, all of the flavors are good. But like my two favorite flavors of Kit Kats that I get in Japan are matcha and sakura, which is cherry blossom. So this ridiculousness was my uh, <laughs> Japanese snacks haul. So I hope you, in a little bit of some Korean stuff, but mostly my Japanese goodies haul that I got. So like all of these goodies, this is what I was like, you know what, I think from now on, whenever I build up like a stash of uh, shop cash to spend, I might as well just spend it on, you know, stuff that I'm actually, like, rather than having more stuff, I'm going to spend it on things that I'll actually enjoy, like, such as, you know, high chews for lifetime, uh, some ramen goodies, because that sounds amazing. I may have some ramen for lunch tomorrow. That sounds good. Ooh, I think I'm going to start with, like, if it wasn't so late at night, I have a thing about eating like after 6 p.m. I don't eat after 6 p.m. Uh, because then it usually means that I don't sleep well and then I end up with a migraine. Otherwise, I would totally have some miso ramen. Uh, and those chips are calling my name right there. But again, I don't eat after 6 p.m. So, 
I hope you guys enjoyed the randomness of my uh, snacks haul uh, and my Japanese goodies. And let me know your thoughts below. Have you guys ever used, uh, what have you guys used your shop cash for? Uh, let me know below. I'd love to see if anyone else has done the same with any goodies or what else you have used your shop cash for. That'd be interesting to see. Anyone else like me? If you've ever lived in a foreign country and you are missing the snacks from said country or the goodies from said country, have you gone out of your way to then purchase said items uh, however you can? Like I said, I don't have access to a um, like a, an Asian grocery store or an oriental market or anything like that or where I can find these same goodies. Uh, so I'm kind of limited uh, on what I can do to get uh, my goodies and I was super excited to like do this because oh these are calling my name These are super calling my name. I may save a bag of these and include a baggie of these in Like a giveaway. So I think I'll, when I hit 250 members on my channel, I'll do a my first giveaway and you guys are gonna get a uh, Bag of fantasy flavored high shoes because those are incredible because I don't I only ordered two I don't know why I got four of the fantasy high shoes, but apparently I got four. But I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, fun, the uh, random oddity of my unboxing here. Kind of a small shop haul with a little bit of a twist, not, not even anywhere remotely related to diamond painting, but I thought it was fun. So I hope you guys think it was fun. Uh, anyways, I will see you guys in the next video and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.